and upsets me. I agree with you. Welcome to another Bling Lights installation video. Here we're going to attempt to install this carbon fiber overlay on the top of this eclipse. As you can see, it's a fairly small roof as it is, little 3x3. Three three. We got a 5x5 five five sheet, so we got too much to deal with, but you're better off to have more. Uh, first things first is make sure you clean everything very thoroughly, very, very thoroughly, or this won't stick to it at all. There's one helper, and the camera is kind of sketchy right now. And there's help. There's actually the driver of the vehicle. Say hi, Tim. Da da da. -da. All right, let's get to it. All right, first things first is to get Windex or a soapy water slash solution onto the roof or the thing that you're doing, whether it be the roof, the hood, or the trunk. Get some Windex on it. I just call it Windex because it's a water and soap solution. It's a lot easier because it's in a Windex bottle. <laughs> Get that on there. Next, you will take the overlay that you've got, the 5x5, five five, and you will take the vinyl off of the backing that it comes on. Make sure you get that off nice and clean as best you can. There you go. There we go. Go ahead. Make sure that you keep it sort of flat, doesn't hit the ground. There you go. Flip it. Doesn't we gotta flip this thing guys, there you go. You got that in, Tim? Yep. Hey look at that. I'll let these guys do it and I'll videotape. All right, set it on top. Right around the middle. Yeah, go ahead. Just set it on there. It's gonna stick. We're gonna have to move it. Here, hold on, hold on. Since it's a little too sticky, what you should do is doesn't hurt to have any extra Windex because you because you can always squeegee that stuff out. Get some on the bottom of the vinyl too. Sorry. Close your eyes, guys. Hold on. Let me get to the other side. Tim. I don't want to. Get some on the vinyl so it's nice and slippery. All right, let's put it on. Obviously, you can see we left a nice overlay on each side, about a foot on each side, oh. if you can. <laughs> yeah, I want to. Keep the doors open. It's a lot easier. Sorry, I wasn't smart like you. Yeah. As you can tell, this is Tim's first. <sighs> Tim's first time. No, don't keep. The, every time you keep bringing it up, it takes the Windex off. And you're probably going to have to go through this process a couple times. It's best to have this thing right here. My sister's hair dryer. Bam. This stuff will allow you to go around the curves the best you can. So we'll be back with some more video. Okay. Is it good? All these little ridges right here, because the roof is curved, best way to get rid of them is to use a blow dryer. So you want to cut from the back and work forward? You got Tim just Hold this corner right here, Tim, and videotape. Hold it up off the car. Like a boss. You want to heat up the vinyl so you can sort of stretch it. And then what you want to do is you want to push. There's a little bubble right underneath the arm, John. No, no, no. There you go, 
Come on. Hold on, bud. Hold on. Give me a sec. Come on. What you want to do is you want to work corner by corner. Get one corner done, go to the next. Alright, Scott, grab that corner that Tim's got. We'll get that off after. I just figure to get it up there so we lift from the front. Oh, Oops, sorry. Alright, that corner is well done right now. Just, yeah. And what you want to do is you want to squeegee from the center out. Basically you're squeegeeing all the water and all that solution that we put on the car out to the edge. Don't be, don't be scared if you got any little bubbles, because you can get those out. And it'll, sometimes it might take just, you know, the final to get hot and from the sun heat. Right? As you can see, look at, look at, look at, look at. See, that's how you get it out. You don't want to apply too much pressure, but just enough. Corner number two, done. Well, still got some here. As you can see. So you work your way from the center out towards the edge. And you get some heat on there. You just basically do like a foot by foot cube just so you don't kind of ruin what you've already done see that you got it cool. I mean there's there's so much stuff under here that we're gonna have to go over it again anyways and um, we've got exacto knives exacto knives are our friends on this kind of job okay we're going all right now to do the very last corner what you do is you pull up on the corner Heat it up to get it nice and pliable, basically, is the word we want to use. And then what you do is take your squeegee. Squeegee, yeah, Scott, you squeegee from this way, that way, I'll squeegee this way. Get your squeegee and start squeegeeing and pull. Tim, you need to pull at the same time. We can't support it. Pull, bring it down, bring it down. Went down too far. Bring it up. Yeah, there you go, Scott. There you go. Scott, hold it for two seconds. A little bit of a, a little bit of a lip right there. All right, Scott. Looks like you got an easier time doing this. Hold on. Bring it up. Okay, Scott. There we go. There we go. There we go. See? I'm just keeping it warm. Just to keep it pliable. I'm not overdoing the heat because if you overdo it, you're going to stretch it too much. Go ahead, stop. Pull that side. Hold on, Tim. Hold on. Don't go any further, Tim. Pull that. There you go, Scott. There you go. Go down with it. Scott, pull this right here. Yeah.
See? We'll speed it up and we can form it. Go down, Tim. Go down with it. That's what I was waiting on. Yeah, I just wanted to push right into the corner. Like that. Alright. And now it's just it. getting the bubbles out. To get the bubbles out, all you do is just apply some pressure, let it flow with the vinyl, as you can see. You don't want to push too hard because then what you'll do is you'll stretch out the vinyl, see? Almost like what I did right there. You just follow where it'll let you go. If it won't go anywhere like this one isn't, that's when you get a knife, you get a, uh, an X-Acto knife or a needle, you poke a hole right in the center, and then you just pull the air out. I feel like I'm getting special treatment with my car now. It's so nice. Can I let this go? Give me it. Real quick. And basically, this is before we are going to cut it. We're going to get an X-Acto knife and cut it here. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like after it's been cut. All right, here we're going to show you how to basically wrap the, fi the, the vinyl over the edges to make it look clean. As you can see, we sort of got this side done right here underneath the molding. Um, back here is where the glass meets the roof. Basically what you want to do is you want to leave yourself a good quarter to an inch to a half an inch. Enough to be able to stuff down into the crease between the window and the roof. Just so it looks like it wraps the whole roof. Instead of cutting it right here at the roof and seeing the color of the roof, that just don't look good. As you can see I started on this side and uh, Scott's just going to basically do the rest on his side. I mean, you know, nobody's perfect. You don't have to cut it perfectly straight. Don't need no edges or anything. Just enough to where it'll look pretty. It'll look pretty, exactly, Tim. And then in two seconds here, we'll show you how to. How to stuff it into the window here. Or behind the window. Since the vinyl is stuck to the window, as you can see, what you want to do is, is because there is a corner here. Give me the knife, please. See the corner where the two meet here, obviously? What you want to do is you want to make some relief cuts. You don't want to you don't want to start right at the roof, because if you start right at the roof, then you're basically gonna have the same problem. You're gonna see paint. Make a little bit of a relief cut there on the corner. Here you go, Scott, to cut the rest of that. Get um, some heat, some sweet heat. What you want to do is heat it up nice and good. Do one side at a time, as you can see. Kind of folded there on me, but that's all right. Get it nice and warm and pliable. And then take it and stuff it in the hole. Basically how it's done. And then what you want to do is do that throughout the whole vinyl. As you can see, it will come off the window. Just got to apply some pressure. Apply too much heat because then the, the vinyl will stick to the window where you don't want it to. Actually, what you could do is, is just allow your helping hand to do it. Get it, just get it over the edge, and we'll heat it up afterwards. As you can see, you just round it around, and then go over that other corner, Tim. Yes, mine fuel. Go ahead. Basically, at the corner again, make some relief cuts, make it easier for you. There you go. Get the vinyl off the window and onto the edge there. 
Now what you can do is, is take some heat, you can uh, squeegee, put the heat right into the crack there, and get the vinyl to stick to the back of the car, the back of the top of the roof here. Take some Windex and actually wash this and wipe it down right. Get it to stick nice and good. <laughs> Yeah, I was just looking. can't say I've seen that before. Three of those a day. <laughs> I'll have tons of right. Scott, squeegee. It actually makes just, you uh, Come on this side where Tim is. You can see it. Mm -hmm. See how you can... Yeah. And what you want to do is... Go over, go over it with the heat to get any excess water that's stuck inside. Okay, back to it. You want to leave yourself enough room to be able to work with it into the groove right here, as you can see. As you can see, just my finger alone, kind of pushing it into the groove. And that's what you want to do. You want to heat it up right there and just work it into the groove. Now, take the heat. Make it pliable. Stuff it in the hole. Go down the edge. Heat as you go. Response with Scott. And then what you want to do is just finish that all the way down to the corner. All the way down to there. Alright. Alright, now we've gotten to the front. The hardest part of the whole thing is basically getting this vinyl underneath this piece of rubber. And the easiest way to do it is to basically just push it under as best you can. See how we've basically got it... And then you're going to run it down the whole length of the window. And uh, just go slow. The faster you go, you're going to put holes in it. And you definitely don't want any holes in it. And you want to use, see this, this squeegee we got here? The squeegee has rounded edges. Show them, Scott. See how it's got rounded edges? That helps out a lot. You don't want pointy edges, because then the pointy edges, you're going to end up cutting it like a knife. And um, we'll be back with the final product and as you can see here final product on the car in the grooves on the roof through the stripping here on the front that we just finished you can see there's a little installation all done now what's left, put on the molding in the correct spot, and you're all done.